It's a little wet out there this morning. Good morning. I'm Judy Stu. Thanks for joining us. Let's begin with your first alert weather. Here's meteorologist Tracy Butler. Hey, Trace. Yeah, it was raining pretty good. We'll take you closer in where it is raining, and it's up toward Lake Geneva. As you can see up toward Kenosha, and everything really moving northward. Now, it might be still a little bit misty around the region here this morning, but the steady rain has come to an end. It's 57 degrees in Schaumburg, 59 degrees right now in Cicero. So we'll have a look at your complete forecast coming up. But want to get over to Roz. Boy, Roz, where do you start today? Right at the start, we've got a crash with injuries. And this is going to be on the outbound side of the Eisenhower near Western Avenue. It's a rolled-over vehicle, so they've got at least the right lane blocked and the western exit ramp. Hijack crews are still dealing with that. And now we're getting word of a crash inbound on I-90 to Jane Adams right around Dundee, so there's at least one lane closed at that location. We can take a look outside at our South Tower camera. Out of Chicago to a jail about 160 miles south of here. Tanya Babbage in the Alert Center right now with the latest on this disturbing case. Tanya. Judy, prosecutors say Dwight Boone Doty lured Tyshawn Lee into an alley in November. In my almost 30 years as a prosecutor, Tyshawn Lee's mother was so upset by the details she heard in court yesterday that she had to leave. Terrell? George Martin. We'll talk about that. Uh, rain, Tracy. Yeah. yeah, and the good That's news is bit. it's exiting the area uh, in time for the morning rush. Perfect. So you have yeah. a boatload of things to talk about already. So let's talk about what we are watching here today. Largely, the rest of the day is dry, especially across the north and west suburbs. And then the rain that does return tonight is mainly going to hit some of the southern suburbs in northwest Indiana. And even much of that, the bulk of it, staying well south of Chicago. Well, here's a look at our high-resolution forecast model. You can see the rain continuing to exit. Now, we may have a couple of sprinkles here and there, but it's, boy, not going to be all that impressive. And in fact, the major storm system that is producing the rain is really kind of robbing us of moisture today. So there you see, looking at the radar, everything lifting north of Chicago, in fact, headed north of the Wisconsin line. Temperature-wise today, take a peek at this. I'm forecasting a high of 65. Record high, 69 degrees. Oh, we could get close. So far at O'Hare today, a quarter of an inch of rain coming in. 57 right now at O'Hare. AccuWeather showing that wind is out of the south at about 8. As a cold front gets closer to the area today, we are going to notice those winds picking up. 62 degrees in Whiting, Michigan City at 59. Woodstock at 58. Hampshire now at 56 degrees. A look at the temperatures through the day today, and you can see we get them up into the 60s here again. Yesterday, we officially hit... 70 degrees. A broader look at the radar and satellite once again shows that rain exiting the region with very little showing up radar-wise anywhere even remotely close to Chicago. So that's why I've virtually removed rainy conditions out of the forecast for the afternoon commute today. So good news on that front. But here we go, 6 o'clock this evening. You can see mainly across the southern suburbs and northwest Indiana is where our future radar is posting that that rain will come in. Our rain cast showing, again, very little in the way of additional rain. Much of this is what has already accumulated across some of the northern suburbs, so not much more rain coming our way. Overall, mainly cloudy, just a few sprinkles yet to go this morning. Some showers will return into the area here late tonight, then they end early tomorrow morning, and again, that activity mainly south. Rain's closed between Costner and Cicero. This is also affecting the CTA number 70 division buses, so you'll need to reroute around that for the time being. As far as the expressways go, not too much happening out there. We can actually take a look at our West Tower camera. Watching Judy Sue, Terrell Brown, weather with meteorologist Tracy Butler, and Roz Varen's traffic. ABC 7 Eyewitness News at 4.30 continues. Birds. And more trouble for Chipotle, a location near Boston shut down last night after four workers got one of the latest people to be killed in violence in the Mid. Some great music last night in Chicago from America's oldest all-male collegiate glee club. Traffic on the 7th. Got some rain out there, Tracy. Yeah, just a little bit, but really it is exiting much of the Chicago area, almost headed north of the Chicago or the Illinois line. And so right now, Lake Geneva, as you can see, around Walworth, down through Hebron, 
And that's where we're still noticing the rain that's lingering. 57 degrees in Vernon Hills. It's 59 degrees out at Midway, 62 in Monster. Starting to notice more, or more observation sites coming in with a bit of fog this morning. So that's something we will keep an eye on visibility-wise. But we do dry out. Winds are going to pick up today. We're looking for highs in the 60s. With the Jane Adams Tollway eastbound on 90, we still have lane blockage with this crash at Dundee Route 25. So emergency crews are on the scene there. And as we take a look outside at our West Tower camera, it's over there. Judy. All righty, Ross, thank you. There are rumors that Kanye West is looking to expand his skills into home to Cal. I know, right? Uh -huh. <laughs> 448 ahead. The injury list grows even longer for the Bulls. Oh, by the way, cool. cool. Yeah. yeah. The Blackhawks are hopeful about Hosa tonight. Yes, it is a big game with the arch right. 453 right now, just ahead an hour, 5 o'clock hour. Um, hey, good morning, everybody. I'm Terrell Brown. Good morning. I'm Judy Sue. Welcome to Wednesday. Thank you for joining us. Let's begin with our first... Uh, Somebody needs to meet again. <laughs> <laughs> good morning. Right now, hey, the good news is the steady rain that we had in the area overnight moving well north of Chicago, up toward Lake Geneva right now, and it's going to continue to exit even southern Wisconsin over the next hour. 58 degrees currently in Elmhurst, 60 degrees Oak Park, Harvey, Moni, Wilmington, 61 along with Holbers and Vernon Hills now at 58 degrees. So it is another very mild start to our day. Overall, we're looking at a fair amount of cloud cover. So we are going to try out continuing to watch some fog spreading into the area, however, this morning. So I'll watch the observation sites on that. Gusty winds will pick up today. We'll talk much more about your weekend forecast, too. Or still looking at light traffic volume. We had a crash on I-90 eastbound with Jane Adams at Dundee. That has just been cleared off to the shoulder, so all lanes are now open there. We can take a look outside at the Kennedy Expressway, our north hospital, where the latest victim has died. Laura. The 21-year-old woman was sitting in her car when police say she was shot in the back and killed. Now, this happened shortly after midnight. The rate in 2016 is worse than in nearly two decades. Reporting live from Stroger Hospital, Laura Torrey, ABC 7 Eyewitness News. Okay, Laura, thank you. And a breaking news update right now. Crews are searching for what caused a massive fire that just in Chicago's West Humble Park neighborhood. Jessica D'Onofrio is live at the scene right now. Jessica? Well, this massive fire... Excited about a...